Hi there, I'm Ludwig, this is SQL Bootcamp Online, the two-minute SQL series when I am addressing the most common questions regarding SQL Server and Azure that you'll find online. So in the previous version of, or in the previous clip on this, uh, of this YouTube channel, I've answered the question how to save your query results to a text file. But what we did in that video is we used SSMS. So you had to have SSMS installed, you had to has, have access to GUI, the graphical user interface in order to generate those text files. We've used multiple methods uh, with files that are tab delimited or the proper text files that are very easy to consume by the human eye. If you haven't seen that video just yet, probably YouTube algorithm will uh, recommend that video either on the right hand side in here or below me, depending on what device you're using to consume this one, this episode. But uh, do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you'll get all of the uh, golden nuggets straight to your feed. But today I want to answer the very same question without the GUI. I want to use the command line for that. So this is the final result that I want to get, right? These are the all of the these are the information about all of my employees who work for me in the Adventure Works uh, organization, all right? So we can see that I have production technicians, marketing assistants, and so on and so forth, inc including their um, manager IDs and so on and so forth. Uh, I won't get into the details about the data itself because what I'm more concerned about is the method itself. We do know how to do that using the uh, SSMS. Now, how about the CMD? Well, if I want to use the command line, I will have to use a tool that's called um, SQL CMD. So Structured Query Language Command Line. Now, uh, SQL CMD will always be installed whenever you uh, have a, whenever you have anything to do with SQL Server on that particular machine. Uh, it's installed on most of the servers uh, as well, so you don't have to worry about availability of that tool. Now, what I want to do in the very next step is I want to provide SQL CMD with the name of the server that I'll be connecting to. Now, my server is called London, so I'll just say, hey, my server is called London. Boom. And I need to provide it with a query. So with the Q parameter in the uh, double quotes, I'll just say, hey, I want to select data, all of the data from AdventureWorks database, AdventureWorks database from the human resources um, schema, and then from the employees employee table. Now, I all I need to do right now is I need to say, okay, because if I take a look at it, I see that SQL CMD will run the query on the London server. The query is select star from AdventureWorks human resource employee. But what am I missing here? Well, I need to, I, I missed the output file. So I need to say, hey, I want to have this file saved on the desktop. And on my desktop, I want to have a file called, let's say, SQL CMD results dot txt all right it would be nice for sql server not to ask me about any kind of additional credentials because i'm already logged in as administrator so i'll just use the uh, capital e parameter to achieve this goal so i'll just hit ok boom nothing changed nothing happened i don't see any uh, changes in here but guess what on my desktop, there is a new file called sqlcmd results.txt and voila, I have all of my rows, all of my columns, everything in here beautifully formatted when the file is exactly the same, contains exactly the same content, it's exactly the same size of to my file that I've generated using the uh, SQL, uh, the SSMS in the previous video in this quick series. So again, this is the answer to the question how to save the query results to a text file using SQL uh, using SQL CMD, so without the graphical user interface. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Ludwig. This is SQL Bootcamp Online. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get all of the notifications and I will see you in the next episode.